Please put your hands together for Mr. Seamus Malar. What's up, guys? How's it going? All right, all right, all right. So, uh, I'm tired of my lady friends telling me that they have body image issues, you know, because of some shit they saw on TV. Like, why aren't there more women who look like me on these commercials? Uh, because they're trying to sell the product? <laughs> Yeah. And don't talk to me about body image issues, okay? I grew up watching professional wrestling, all right? Nothing I ever do is gonna make me look like The Rock. I mean, granted, he's like, he's like black and Samoan, so that's probably not a great example, but like, but like think, of, think of the other alternatives. Like, what are my options? I could do steroids, but like, I really don't wanna do that because uh, I'm sort of comfortable with like where my dick is in the universe. Like, it's in a good spot. I don't wanna like fuck up a good thing, you know what I mean? And uh, the only other alternative is like hard work and dedication, and like, you can get the fuck out of my face with that. All right? Yes, I'm lazy. Clap it up. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, I feel like I always have to walk on eggshells around people because they're always trying to say some stupid shit to me and just, they just assume I'm going to accept it, you know? I remember I was in fourth grade and this girl turned to me and she was like, I've talked to God. And I turned back to her and I was like, no, you haven't. And it's not that I don't believe in God, I just don't believe that he's talking to her. Because what does God have to say to a fourth grade girl? He's just up in his fucking sky castle. Don't worry, Becky, your period's on the way. <laughs> the fuck is that? I would be mad as shit if she was talking to God, because like what, this fourth grade girl just has a direct line to the creator of the universe, but I get put on hold ordering pizza? <laughs> what the fuck is that? But maybe I do need religion. I'm so nervous. I'm, I'm such a nervous guy. I have severe anxiety. Yeah, and basically, if you don't know what that means, it means I'm essentially scared of being scared. Yeah, <laughs> yeah laugh it up. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't really make sense, but it always made sense in my head, and that's why growing up, that FDR quote like always tripped me up. It made no sense when it's like, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. Because I was always just like, exactly! Like, thank you, this guy gets it. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> but, uh... I'm not gonna let it beat me though. I'm taking some proactive steps. I'm trying to deal with this. This anxiety's going down. I bought a book on how to cope with anxiety and depression. I haven't read it, I'm too scared. But I own it, I own it. It's called Why Zebras Don't Get Ulcers. Isn't that fucking cute? Why Zebras Don't Get Ulcers. Uh, maybe because they get eaten by fucking lions, okay? Uh, that's not fair. That's not a fucking option I have, okay? Do you realize how many of my anxieties have cropped up because we no longer live in a society where getting eaten by an animal is a threat that I have to deal with? You know what I mean? I've got so much time on my hands, like talking to women. It should not be so hard, but it scares the shit out of me. I'm like, oh, I'm awkward. I don't know what to say. I don't understand women. I would have no problem talking to women if there were lions running around. I'd be like, oh shit, Stacy, there's a lion. Let's get the fuck out of here. Maybe get some drinks. <laughs> But, uh, I'd be smooth, man. I'd be smooth. But, uh, I have panic attacks, too. And, uh, panic attacks fucking suck. Panic, it's not, and this is not the regular kind of panic. This is not like, oh, I didn't study for a test, or like, they took my favorite series off of Netflix kind of panic. <laughs> Fuck you if you, that's what you think, okay? It's not that. This is serious. The room is spinning. I'm dying. I might be having a heart attack kind of panic. My friends don't experience this, so they're always asking me, like, what's it like to have a panic attack? You know, like, Seamus, tell us. And I'm like, don't ask me that, okay? That's some traumatic shit to add. Do you want me to relive that? That's fucked up. That's like if I went up to a Holocaust survivor and was just like, yeah, so uh, tell me about that wacky tattoo. Uh, is that like your boyfriend's number or something? Oh my God. It's fucked up. There's just some shit you don't bring up. So I'm gonna try something out on you guys right now. On the way here, uh, I saw a black dude dressed as a cowboy. And I was like, what do they call a black sheriff? Sharif. It worked, all right. All right, great. So uh, I'll leave you guys with this. Uh, I don't know where my panic came from, I don't know where my anxiety came from, and it's too easy to blame my parents even though it's all their fault. Uh, 
my dad is polyamorous, and he's here tonight. Hey, dad. Hey. And uh, for what you guys, if you guys don't know what that means, it's not polygamy. It's polyamory, which means he's dating a woman who's married. Oh, okay. But, but, but don't worry, her husband knows about it too, and he's totally cool with it, because he's dating a woman who's married, and her husband's dating a woman who's married, and her husband's dating a woman who's married, and I think somewhere along the, like, fucking conga line, like, someone is dating my mom's boyfriend. So, like, yay for me, my parents are back together. 